Covering the High Plains with news, weather, and information. From TV23 Studios in Sublet, this is High Plains Today. Hi, everybody. You know what? It's Tuesday, March 27, 2018. And this is High Plains Today right here on TV23. On today's show, she is Angie Reich. She is a game warden with the Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks. They have a hunter education course coming up. We're going to talk about how you can register and all kinds of different stuff. So you want to stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let's see what's happening. Well, if the Oklahoma State Legislature does not meet a list of demands from the Oklahoma Education Association to fund increases to Oklahoma's teacher and support staff pay, as well as a restoration of funding to public schools, then a statewide school closure will ensue next Monday, April 2nd. The OEA and other organizations presented a list of demands to the legislature, which include state employee raises and improved health care funding in a three-year plan that also includes $812 million for fiscal year 2019. The legislature has less than a week to act and fund public education before the April 1st deadline. Now, in preparation for the walkout, the Guyman Public Schools are sending a letter home with students today explaining what will happen and when and if and when it occurs. While the OEA said that schools would remain closed until demands are met, districts would still need to meet school hour and required testing requirements or they could lose federal funding. Now, the Guyman schools will still provide breakfast and a lunch service for those who desire at the North Park and Academy cafeterias. A police officer was involved in an auto accident on Sunday afternoon on the U.S. Highway 5083 bypass in Garden City. According to a Garden City police press release, Officer Jared Stritt was parked in the 2300 block of U.S. 50, running radar when he observed a vehicle traveling south on the bypass at 87 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. Strict activated his emergency lights and attempted a U-turn and he was going to conduct a traffic stop but he was struck by a vehicle traveling in the other direction. Strit and the other driver who police didn't identify suffered minor injuries and they were both treated and released at the scene by EMS. The ex-girlfriend of one of the men accused of plotting an attack against immigrants in Garden City says the men spent months studying how to make homemade explosives. Lula Harris was on the witness stand yesterday during the first day of testimony in federal court in Wichita. She said she was in a relationship for several years with Curtis Allen of Liberal, who along with Patrick Stein of Wright and Gavin Wright of Liberal, is charged with conspiracy to use a, a weapon of mass destruction. Harris recounted the time she stopped by g, &G Home Center in Liberal the business Wright owned and where Allen worked. She said sitting on the kitchen island was a burner and a beaker full of white substance she recognized from one of the YouTube videos. She said she didn't report the incidents to police, but two weeks later, Harris reported Allen to the Liberal Police Department for domestic violence. He was arrested, as were the two other men. Now, Harris told prosecutors the three men who belonged to a militia group had been discussing for some time a way to wake people up to what they saw as a problem of Muslims immigrating to the United States. Linda Brown, the Kansas girl at the center of the 1954 U.S. Supreme Court ruling that struck down racial segregation in schools, has died at the age of 76. Topeka's former Sumner School was all white when her father, Oliver, tried to enroll the family. He became lead plaintiff in the 1954 Brown versus Board of Education decision by the Supreme Court that ended school segregation. And Kansas Attorney General Derek Schmidt months ago encouraged lawmakers to pass a school funding fix by the beginning of March. The legislature sure didn't follow his advice. Despite Schmidt's request, lawmakers nearing the end of March without a response to a Kansas Supreme Court opinion that school funding is inadequate. The legislature received a report on March 15th that recommended increasing funding by up to $2 billion over five years, but no proposal has been publicly put forward. Schmidt outlined his reasons for the early March goal, including giving time for the governor to act on the bill and ample time to allow the state's litigation team to consult with attorneys for the legislature. Now, he also said 
Time is needed to gather the information necessary to brief the state's defense of the fix by the April 30th deadline. And Kitty is recalling dual sensor smoke alarms due to risk of failure to loot or alert consumers to a fire. The Kitty dual sensor photoelectric and ionization smoke alarms, those models are PI 2010 and PI 9010. A yellow cap was left on during the manufacturing process and can cover one of the two smoke sensors and compromise the smoke alarm's ability to detect smoke, which will pose a risk of consumers not being alerted to a fire in their home. Now you can find more information online at kitty.com and click on Product Safety Recall for more information. And the Mid-America Air Museum hosted the annual Kansas Southwest Region First Lego League Championship on Saturday. Teams from Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, and Texas competed in this robotics competition. Now, during the morning hours, the teams made presentations before a panel of judges and fine-tuned their robots on practice tables for the afternoon table competition. Students had been asked to research and solve real-world problems dealing with water-related issues. The overall champions were the Hydro Cats from Tyrone. They will be competing in the world competition on April 20th through the 22nd in Houston. And the Finney County Senior Center, you know what? They're offering a computer class starting every Tuesday in April. You got any uh, questions about that? Give the Senior Center a call. All right, that's a look at some of the stuff that's happening out there. You know what? Had a chance of precipitation. Had a little trace in Garden City overnight. Be back with that right after the break. You're watching High Plains Today on TV23 with host Chris Jewell. TV23's internet service and 4G live streaming provided by United Wireless. Coverage you deserve. Service you expect. United Wireless. I'm Nick Baumgartner, owner of Midwest Barter Exchange. So what is barter anyway? When we were kids, things were much simpler. Trading one thing for another was something we did at school on a daily basis. As a kid, you didn't have the cash resources to get things you wanted, but you still managed through barter. In today's economy, not every business has the cash required to grow effectively. Prospecting is difficult and time-consuming leading you to believe things like, I don't have cash to entertain my clients and prospects. There is no money for marketing and advertising, or fixing my work truck, for a new website, social media, printing cards and brochures, mass mailers, accounting, taxes, bookkeeping, consultants, PC repair, dental, radio, TV, legal, alarm system, catering, mechanical, parking, office equipment repair, electricians, networking, medical bills, website, graphic designers, PCs, iPhones, Macs, headshot, plumbing, mechanics, signage, sales training, landscaping, surveillance cameras, leaking roof, and the list goes on. Realizing that running a business can be expensive, many owners and managers have tried to exchange their goods and services for something that they need. Sometimes it works out well. But focusing on trying to make a direct trade is not the best use of your time. Barter Exchange takes that struggle away and allows your business to utilize trade in the form of a one-to-many scenario as opposed to trading directly with another business. We act as a brokerage and marketing firm for companies to grow their business. We can help match businesses to each other with the best fit possible, even if it doesn't mean trading directly with each other. Okay, but how do we keep track of our trade dollars? You can also consider us like a bank, but instead of using cash currency, we utilize Barter Exchange dollars. At Midwest Barter, better barter means better business for all of us. Use Midwest Barter Dollars to purchase hundreds of products for your business or personal use without the use of cash. You can even trade for TV advertising right here on KDGL TV 23. Now, the local weather forecast for the High Plains. Looks a lot like it did yesterday. There Now, the National Weather Service is calling this part the cloudy. I'm calling it cloudy as we look off to the west on the TV 23 Tower Cam. Right now at studio, it's 42 degrees, relative humidity, a little higher, 78 degrees. It was kind of high yesterday. Remember, it was 98. Wind out of the north, northeast at 13, a little more wind than we had yesterday. It's not going to warm up a, little, a whole bunch today. Barometric pressure is rising. As we look at the temperatures, everybody is pretty much cloudy. 
Look at that. You can throw a blanket over all those. We got from 43 to 46 all around the viewing area. Current dew points, they look a lot like the temperatures. Everybody in that 50, 40 to 50 percent range. Winds all out of the north, northeast as we have low pressure moving across the region, though. The highest winds over in Pratt at 20. Everybody else usually in the mid teens. Looking at the highs and lows as recorded at the Garden City Regional Airport, we got to 49 yesterday, a little short of 88 back in 1972, but it was 38 yesterday more, or yeah, yesterday morning, three back in 1955. They did have a trace of precipitation in the bucket at the airport in Garden City, still not very much. All right, here's what we've got in store for today. It's going to be 49. Winds are going to be out of the north, northeast at 13. It's going to stay mostly cloudy all day. Tonight, we're going to cool off just a little more than we did last night. 32 for the overnight low. Winds are going to remain light and variable out of the northeast. Tomorrow, though, sunshine, 62 for the high. Winds are going to switch around to the west-southwest, bringing us in that warm air at about 6 miles an hour. And then look at this tomorrow night. I know, I haven't seen this on the, on the weather for quite a while. 20% chance of precipitation overnight, 36 for the overnight low. Winds are going to be out of the north at 11. All right, as we look at seven day, you can see we're going to start to warm back up as we get into the weekend. Yeah, you look at Sunday, that 30% chance of precipitation, that is a chance of some snow because the high on Sunday, Easter Sunday, is going to be 47. The low is going to be down around 32. So with those temperatures, we might see just a little bit of snow, but it won't amount to anything. All right, looking at our good friend Jeff Hutton, the National Weather Service Dodge City Storm Spotter Training. Today, he's going to be in Liberal tonight at the uh, Liberal Fairgrounds, and tomorrow he's going all the way over to Pratt at the Community Center. On Thursday, he'll be in Dighton at the Courthouse. Then on Wednesday of next week, the 4th, he'll be in Kinsley at the 4-H building, closing out next week on the 5th at the Coldwater City Hall. That is a look at the weather. Stick around right after the break. I'll be back with Angie, and we're going to talk Hunter Education. Hi, I'm Nick Baumgartner, owner of Midwest Barter Exchange. So what is barter anyway? Midwest Barter helps you trade what you have for what you really need. You can use Midwest Barter Dollars to purchase hundreds of products for your business or personal use without the use of cash. You can even trade for TV advertising right here on KDGL TV 23. Find out more at our website or call 785-383-4965. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay, never leave you alone. Debt is really sucking the life out of them. Yes, they look like debt. One dollar for that. He's picking up the phone. Probably calling his uncle to borrow money. Thank you for calling Consolidated Credit. Oh, no, not Consolidated Credit. With one call, they can lower their credit card rates. And consolidate their bills into one more payment. They pay off their debt in no time. Put, Put down, down the phone. phone! Put down the phone! Order a pizza! With extra red sauce! That consolidated credit makes it too quick and easy to get rid of us! Thanks to consolidated credit, there can be life after that? Call consolidated credit now and get your life back. Because debt sucks! Call 1-800-357-5733. 800-357-5733. That's 800-357-5733. Call now! Are you getting the most out of your Medicare plan? Are you sure? Many people with Medicare are eligible for plans that include extra benefits in addition to those found in original Medicare. Benefits like dental, vision, and prescription drug coverage. Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. The consultation is free with no obligation to enroll. In addition to hospital and medical coverage, at no extra cost, you could also get coverage for prescription drugs, dental, hearing, vision, and more. In many areas, plans with benefits are available with $0 copays for many services, $0 monthly premiums, or $0 deductibles. That's hospital, medical, prescription drug, dental coverage, and more included in one plan with premiums that may be as low as $0 a month. Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. The consultation is free and there's no obligation to enroll. Call 1-800-521-3583. That's 1-800-521-3583.
College is great, but before you enroll, which do you think is a better way to earn your degree? Live on campus in a dorm where you can't sleep, with a roommate you can't stand, attend lectures that you can't hear, with cafeteria food that you can't eat, or learn online at Independence University. On the porch with your puppy, in the kitchen with your kitten, on your bed with your bunny, your campus is wherever you want it to be. That's Independence University. And you'll also get a laptop and tablet to use in school, and you can keep them when you graduate. 1-800-274-8142. Welcome back. I'm joined in studio today by Angie Reich. She is a game warden with the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Tourism, Parks, and everything else that, that falls under, right? Yes. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks for coming by today. Sure. Thanks, you know, it's kind of dreary out there. Probably not a lot going on out in the counties. And so I, I appreciate you taking the time because you have a hunter education course Coming, you got a couple of them that yeah, are coming two, up. Yeah, two of them organized right now. Yeah. So. so, all right, but now the big key to these, though, is these are Internet-based, right? Yes. That's the they're, beginning of them? Yes, the Internet-assisted class, so you need to go online, do coursework. You do most of your coursework online at your own pace. Uh, you print off a certificate, and you bring that to the field day. And then the, we meet just one day, do a little more classroom time, go over... Um, ethics, laws and regulation, touch really strong on uh, gun handling and safety. I do a little bit of testing. Uh, there's a break for lunch and students actually drive themselves over to um, a gun range and we do a live shoot. All right, so now the thing is, there are some age requirements on this, right? Now you have to be at least, what, 11? You have to be old? at least 11 okay. to get certified in hunter education. Uh, the first step is to register. That's at safehunters.com, and that has details for the class. So you find the class you want to go to. Um, there's two of them I have coming up. Uh, they're both in Garden City, uh, Sunday, April 8th, and the second one is uh, Saturday, uh, May 5th. Yep, there they are right mm -hmm. there, showing some of the action out on the range. All right, now, but the important thing about this is, in order to take these courses, you have to have completed the uh, internet part of it, right? Yes, you have to do the internet work uh, to be able to attend the field days. Okay, and you have to be at least 11 years old. 11 and up. And then, okay, but now here's the other thing, in case you're <clears throat> older like me, but you want to get a hunting license, if you were born after 1957, you have to have a hunter education card? Yes, in order to purchase a hunting license in Kansas. Okay, that's interesting. So if you're thinking about, oh, I'm old enough, I don't need to take this class, eh, wrong, right? Right. <laughs> All right, so basically you get on, you take the course online, then you go, you're in the classroom and you're doing a little course study there. Now, what do you do when you go to the range? Uh, when you go to the range in the afternoon, um, by the way, this class is free. Well, that's the good part. It's free. That's the best part. And we provide all the materials. So you just show up at the range. We give you um, eye and ear protection. You can bring your own if you want, if you have okay. something preferred. Uh, we have shotguns. We shoot clay pigeons. We provide all the ammo. And uh, usually we have muzzle loaders. Sometimes we have 22s uh, available. So... It's oh, a yeah, lot that oh, you get to do. All you got to do is show up. All you have to do is show up with your certificate. You're, you show up with your certificate <laughs> and you're in charge of your own transportation and your own lunch, right? Right, right. Okay. Muzzle loaders, you're going to shoot muzzle loaders? Yeah. I mean, you know, black powder, the ball, the whole thing? Yeah, we have part of the course is learning and training on muzzle loaders, how they wow. work. And, yeah. I submit, I've never shot one of those. I'm sure you have. Do they kick as bad as one, one would think they do? Uh, no, they don't. Really? Not the ones I've tried, no. Okay. Because I remember, you know, growing up as a kid, you know, you, you, you shot a shotgun, and you go, oh, that hurt. And I just imagine an old muzzle loader would do the same thing, you know. So that's kind of weird. All right. Okay. So your the, the, the range part is going to be held at the sand, what's the name of the range? I can't sand remember. Sand and Sage. Sand and Sage. Gun Club. Okay. Right. So the... The first part of the class, the, the classroom time, that's at the Garden City Community College. Uh, it starts at 9 a.m. Okay. So that's the classroom time. And then there's the break for lunch, and then the students drive themselves out to the Sand and Sage Rifle Club. That's on uh, Rock Pit Road. It's northeast of Garden City. Okay. Now, do you, 
can only people from Finney County or Garden City oh, no, come to this? No, no, no. I all advertise right. all over. All right. So sometimes, especially out in Southwest Kansas, it can yes. be hard to find a class. So, so you're, if you're in Elkhart or Scott City or Liberal or wherever, right. Mead, you can come to right. this. If you want to go to this class, yes, it doesn't matter. You have to get online, though, and register. Yeah, you want to register. Safehunters.com. Yeah, safehunters.com. And sometimes the classes actually fill up. We have a large population in Garden City, so these classes will fill up. So you want to make sure to get your spot and register. Oh, yeah, that would be the important part. Okay. So, all right, so you must complete the online portion first before you can do this. And it'll be on Sat Sunday, April 8th. Yes, yeah, Sunday. And then, and then on Saturday, May 5th. Yes. So you got a couple of chances to do this. Free. Only thing it's going to cost is your gas to get there and lunch. Yeah. Maybe, maybe if you wanted to be nice, you could take the game warden out to lunch on your way. Would you do that? Would you? Would you let somebody buy your lunch? Oh no, that's fine. Okay, all right, <laughs> all right. So let me. Okay, so let's get off now. You've been a game warden in the Garden City area for what four years now? Yeah, it's Almost? going. It's going on four years since right. since 2014. How did you get in the game warden business? Oh, I have to ask that. I'm sorry. We got all the important stuff out of the way. Now I want to know about the uh, game well, warden. I started off with education. Um, I actually uh, I went to school for zoology and got a couple of zoology degrees. I was interested in wildlife. Okay. And I was actually a biologist for a while and uh, had an, always had an interest in law enforcement. And uh, I was working as a community college professor actually teaching uh, microbiology and biology and uh, um, I started as a reserve police officer and doing some dispatch and I really enjoyed it and it just seemed that game warden kind of puts two together you put the law enforcement aspect with wildlife and it just seemed like the perfect job so microbiology and zoology you have entirely too much science in your life Angie I'm just saying all right but now the other thing is though to become a game warden in Kansas, you also have to be a certified law enforcement officer, right? Um, well, you go through the training. Yes, uh, most of the time when we hire someone, um, the, to start off, you need a, a bachelor's degree. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, you apply, and then um, most of the time, we, if we hire you, then we send you oh, to okay. the Kansas Law Enforcement Training Center. So. To, to, to get your law enforcement certification. So you have to go through the, like, regular state troopers yes. or regular police officers, deputies, you go through all yeah. the same stuff they do. Yes, we go through the same The testing, course. the calisthenics, mm -hmm. the, all of it. Yes. Okay. So you're full flip. She, she knows her animals and she can carry a gun legally, right? Basically? Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> And you're, and you're out here in Southwest Kansas. You grew up over in North Central Oklahoma. Yes. But you're kind of out here in the... Uh, yes, um, I actually moved for this job. So. Okay. How do you like Southwest Kansas? I, I, have, I, to, I have to ask. I, I like it. It's vast expanses, uh, pheasants that I'm not used to back at home, and uh, I like the pronghorn, the antelope. You know. So. You, got a lot, you got a lot going on out yeah, here. Yeah, we have a you? lot of territory out here to cover, and... Pheasant it it season. really is. Oh, pheasant season's busy. Busy, 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 busy. Yeah, uh, deer rifle season is another one. So we've got the big muleys out here. So I can tell she likes it, and she drives around in a big Ford pickup. All right. Okay, so let's wrap up with the hunter safety education courses you have okay. coming up. You have to get online at safehunters.com and register, and then you're going to complete the Internet-based part of the course. And then you bring that certification that you've completed it with you, the Garden City Community College, at 9 o'clock on either Sunday, April 8th, or Saturday, May 5th. And then you'll take the half-day course with you in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And then you're loading up. Well, you lunch on your own. Then you're going to load up, go out to the uh, gun range, and you're going to fire stuff. Yeah. And you provide everything. And we it's free. We provide everything. It's free. That's it's the best free. part. Yeah. Angie, thanks for coming by. Yeah, thank you. Come see me again sometime, all right? Okay. So we can talk game warden stuff, you know, out and about, all right? Deal? Yeah, it's all a right. deal. All right, thanks, Angie. Stick around. I'll be back with some more right after this. Watch these magnificent honeybees staying busy pollinating the world and making honey while they do it. But these bees are suffering. 
The Wi-Fi in their hive is slow and buffers constantly. They struggle to watch their shows on Netflix and surf Pinterest. Bees hate that. So what do you do if you're a buffering bee? You switch to Pioneer Communications, who offer 50 megabit internet that's as sweet as honey. They've made the jump, and so can you. Pioneer Communications, your community connected. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay, never leave you alone. Debt is really sucking the life out of them. He's picking up the phone. Oh, no, not consolidated credit. With one call, they can lower their credit card rates. And consolidate their bills into one low payment. They'll pay off their debt in no time. Call consolidated credit now. Because debt sucks. Call 1-800-380-8565. That's 800-380-8565. Call now. 40 million. That's the number of free phones still available and the number of how many Americans can still get prescriptions free. Free could be wonderful. That's why I'm still working at 77 years old to pay off my prescriptions. I needed to have a, a prescription filled and I had to leave because I couldn't afford it. Call now and see what's available for you. Free prescriptions. Over 10 million people get prescriptions free and the program has expanded so another 40 million can. Free dental. Over 15,000 dentists have provided over $330 million in free dental work. Free cell phones. 40 million free cell phones are still available with free minutes and more. Free cell phone would change my life right now because it is something I cannot afford to get. Medical supplies like back braces, knee braces, and diabetic supplies may be covered too. The free RX Plus hotline has saved callers over $12 million on their prescription costs. These free programs are now available to 40 million more people. Call now. Uh, uh, education, Hunter Safety Education. Man, I drew a blank. Anyway, Seward County softball team, they're 23 and 13, 10 and 0 so far, pushed their win streak to eight games on Sunday. They defeated Barton 8 to nothing in game one before holding off a Cougar rally in game two, winning 9 to 7. And the Garden City Community College's softball team, they faced, this is tough. Two-time NJCAA champions, Butler Community College, which came into yesterday's doubleheader at Tangeman Sports Complex on a 55-game winning streak in the KJCAA. They fell twice to them, 14-9 and 8-3. Man, I had 55 games in a row. Are you kidding me? Let's take a last look at our weather before we get out of here. Temperature 43 degrees, relative humidity 78%. Winds are out of the north at 9. Barometric pressure, yeah, it's still rising. All right, now, we do have a chance of some precipitation later on, but we're start, going to start warming up. We're getting into Sunday. Maybe could see just a little bit of snow. I don't know. See you next time. Keep up to date with the latest information from TV23 on our Facebook page, KDGL-TV. The skills you can develop in the Army National Guard can give you an edge in the high-tech job market of tomorrow. The Guard offers career training to take advantage of your interests in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Gain practical experience with emerging technology and equipment that you can transfer to an exciting new field. Get a head start on your career while serving part-time and earning money to pay for college. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn about all of the STEM career opportunities available to you in the Army National Guard. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay, never leave you alone. Debt is really sucking the life out of them. Yes, they look like debt. Warm to offer. <laughs> <laughs> He's picking up the phone. Probably calling his uncle to borrow money. Thank you for calling Consolidated Credit. Oh, no, not Consolidated Credit. With one call, they can lower their credit card rates. And consolidate their bills into one low payment. They'll pay off their debt in no time. Put down the phone! Put down the phone! Order a pizza! With extra red sauce! That consolidated credit makes it too quick and easy to get rid of us! Thanks to consolidated credit, there can be life after that? Call consolidated credit now and get your life back. Because debt sucks! Call 1-800-357-5733. 800-357-5733. That's 800-357-5733. Call now! Hi, I'm Nick Baumgartner, owner of Midwest Barter Exchange. So what is barter anyway? Midwest Barter helps you trade what you have for what you really need.
you can use Midwest Barter Dollars to purchase hundreds of products for your business or personal use without the use of cash. You can even trade for TV advertising right here on KDGL TV 23. Find out more on our website or call 785-383-4965. Portions of TV 23's Internet provided by SWKO Wireless Internet. Covering the High Plains with news, 